everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three simple and easy family friendly fall slow cooker recipes. And if you like this sort of video, leave me a thumbs up so I'll know to make more. Also, I have a playlist of slow cooker videos that I'm sure you will love. And as always, the link to these recipes is down in the description below. And on my blog, you'll find a ton of free resources, including a free slow cooker conversion chart. So be sure to check that out. And some of you may notice that I have a new slow cooker. So my old dented one just is no longer with us. We are mourning the loss, but celebrating the new addition to our family. So let's just jump in. This first recipe is a very easy white chicken chili. So recently a friend of mine's husband was deployed for a year. And so Jason and I just committed that for the next year, we were going to be taking a meal to her family every other week. So she's a mom of three very young boys. We know what that is like. We know how hard those days can be. And we just wanted to help her out. And this is a double batch. So if you're making a single batch, you'll just cut everything in half. So I started off with one onion and some garlic. And here's a little hack for you. If you leave your crock pot on the high setting, just for a few minutes before you put your ingredients in, it'll warm up and you can kind of cook the onions and garlic a little bit, just to get some of that rawness out before you add your other ingredients. So I am using three pounds of cut up chicken breast. It's just three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Adding two packets of mild chili seasoning. I did two cans of great northern beans and two cans of corn. And then I'm adding four cups chicken broth. I'm going to give everything a stir and turn it on low for six hours. Once it's done, I just scoop some of it in a bowl to take to her and then we had ours left over for our dinner and then we had some left over for lunches the next day and it was super delicious. Okay, so my next recipe is so my next recipe is an Italian sausage dish made in the slow cooker. It is very simple and most of what I had was actually frozen. So for this recipe, I used four frozen chicken sausages and you can use any encased sausage that you may have. And then I just dumped it into the slow cooker, still frozen. And then I dumped a bag of frozen bell pepper on top of it. This was two or three bell peppers that were in my garden. I chopped them up and froze them. <laughs> Yeah, they're a little freezer burn. It's okay, let's just keep going. I love it when I can pull things directly out of my freezer and cook with them and I don't have to do anything extra. Then I added a ton of different seasonings. I put in chives, oregano, fennel, and my beloved everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you can get this stuff at Walmart and Publix now. It's amazing. And I didn't measure any of the seasonings. I just let my heart lead the way. And then I added two tablespoons of minced garlic and one can of tomato sauce. So just the Hunt's traditional tomato sauce. I put the lid on it and I let it slow cook for about eight hours. When my husband got home, he finished fixing dinner for me so I could get some work done. He cooked some tortellini and we ate it on top. And my husband even talked about how great it was. So happy mama, happy family, good job. And then finally we have the basic beyond basic chili recipe. Apologies to my Texas friend because my chili contains lots of beans, but it's okay. We can still love each other. So I started out with half a pound of ground turkey that I browned on the stove and then threw in my slow cooker. And then I added a can of red beans and a can of kidney beans. a can of crushed tomatoes, and then I added a, I took water and I put it in that can of crushed tomatoes and dumped it back in there. I added a can of tomato paste, and then a thing of chili seasoning. <laughs> My phone's stinging, sorry about that. 
stirred everything up, put it on low and let it cook literally all day. So probably about 10 hours. Then at the end of the day, we scooped it out, put it in some bowls, had some Texas toast, and my family was thrilled. I love simple recipes where I don't have to do a ton of extra. I only have one thing or two things that I have to wash when it's all over. I would love to know what some of your fall favorite recipes are. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you're looking forward to this fall. Also, don't forget to check out the link in the description with all of the recipes and the slow cooker playlist, and I will see you soon. 